What's up everybody, Craig here. Okay, so today I'm going to do a redo of a video I've done, uh, basically for a clean install of Yosemite. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but uh, military keeps me busy and I'm currently deployed, so um, I finally got a chance to do this video. There was a lot of emails I was getting with people getting frustrated because they couldn't do things right, and uh, I will show you uh, a couple things where people went wrong. Uh, but again, uh, this is for a clean install of uh, Yosemite, and what you're going to need is a USB thumb drive, 8 gigs or higher. You're going to need to go and download the install app uh, via the App Store. So you're going to click on the App Store, you're going to search for Yosemite, and then you're going to download the app. It's going to come up after it's done downloading with a wizard um, to make you click next, next. It's going to look like this. Uh, after it's done downloading, it's going to automatically look like this. And instead of clicking continue, you're going to hit command, then Q. And that's going to quit out of it. Uh, so now we have the app. Uh, we're going to need that. We're going to need a thumb drive. And we're going to need a command. Um, so um, basically uh, what I did in the previous video is I had somebody go to a website uh, and then change the command. Uh, but the thing is, is uh, YouTube doesn't let you put commands in the... Uh, comments the, the uh, details block so uh, what I'm going to do is actually share a um, here I'll show you I will share a Dropbox folder so it's going to look like this I'm going to put this in the description and you're going to see this when you click on it and I got it in a text document in a pages document in a word document so whichever one you like you can click on and then download and you will see this and we're going to use this command right here and where people were having trouble they're saying hey you know my it won't work when I run this command it's saying error um, I think a lot of people were erasing it uh, and then they weren't naming it untitled and I'll show you how uh, we get that but untitled and the Yosemite app so basically if you can see the the command it's saying okay I have this Yosemite app on my computer and I want to put it on this untitled thumb drive so I'll show you that when we get to that um, so hopefully you have everything uh, and again why would you want to do a clean install uh, basically um, your operating system will get gunked down with all kinds of crap and um, it's just a good time to uh, you know wipe your system clean put a fresh operating system on you will lose your data so back that up back your documents, your movies, your pictures, your downloads, I don't back all that up on external hard drive and then hopefully if you've bought applications through the App Store you're good to go you can just re-download those but if you purchased applications um, and have a product key hopefully you save that email if you didn't you can email the company and then they will uh, you know email you a new product key or do something okay once your data and your uh, applications and everything's backed up or you do have your product key for your applications and all that great stuff now we're gonna go ahead and make the USB as you see the USB looks like this it's because it's already made um, as you can see and it's not just dragging the app on there we're gonna actually have to make this and a big reason why you want to do this way instead of other ways for a clean install is this way will let you have find my Mac and that's a big uh, a big feature that you want and it will automatically create a recovery partition for you so that's another cool feature um, so let's go ahead and make the USB uh, right now I want you to open terminal so we'll type in terminal and we got it open okay um, and so we have terminal open and now I want you to click on disk utility if you don't know where disk utility is you click on uh, your launch pad and you click other and then disk utility is in this folder okay once you do this is the common mistake people did. They went here and then they went erase and then they hit Mac OS Extended Journal. I want you to click on the actual USB itself and then Mac OS Extended Journal, make sure that's selected and hit erase. If you do, what's it called? Let's see what it's called. And as you can see, it's called Untitled. Now let's open that command again. Um, right here okay so volumes untitled that's the USB that's the app it's gonna put that app to that USB 
So that's why you wanted to hit the top one. A lot of people made this mistake. So we're done with disk utility. Let's go ahead and X that out. And now we're going to go ahead and um, build the USB, uh, make it bootable. So we're going to copy and paste the command in there. Um, a big thing, uh, if you have a newer Mac that has a USB 3, great. This should only take you 10 minutes. But if you have an older Mac or you have a USB that isn't 3.0, it's going to take you like 30 minutes or so. Um, but again, if you have a USB 3.0 USB, and if you have a USB 3.0 port, it should only take you about five to ten minutes so let's go ahead and open this we're going to go ahead and highlight this make sure you don't get any extra spaces in there I'm gonna hit copy this is a cool app called pop clip right there if you like that it's right here you can find it in the app store um, and so now I'm gonna take this uh, command and I'm going to paste it into terminal so I'm gonna hit command V and then I'm gonna hit enter and it asks you for, pa for your uh, password. This is your administrator password, not your Apple ID, your administrator password, which in some cases could be your Apple ID, but I have a different one. So, And then, boom, there you go. As you saw, it disappeared right here, and there it goes. And so now it's creating the media. So go ahead and stop the video right here, and we'll pick up in a minute. All right, after this is done, um, you should see this. As you saw, this says erasing disk, it does all that percent signs, it says copy and install files, copy complete, blah, 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 make it bootable, and it's done. So once you do that, you're gonna highlight this, Command Q, and we're now we're ready to rock. So um, we're gonna go ahead and boot up from the USB. Uh, remember, with a Mac, there's no BIOS. You just straight up boot up from the bootable USB. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right, you're going to hit the power button, then you're gonna hold the option button, okay? So hit the power button, then hold the option button, and then as you see, I have my Windows partition, or I'm sorry, my Mac partition, my Windows partition, and my bootable thumb drive. So I'm gonna click on the bootable thumb drive. Okay, um, so once you boot it up from your thumb drive, uh, you should see something that looks like this. Um, and basically, what you wanna do is format your drive. So um, I've seen it where it says disk utility down here. If it does not, then you're gonna see OS X utilities up here. Um, and you're going to go to um, disk utility, but it's not, so it's right here. So you're gonna go to disk utility. Okay, say you got a new drive, like I have a Samsung SSD and I wanted to install Mac as the only um, operating system on there. I click on this and then I click on erase and then I would name it Mac OS 10 and then I click erase. But I'm already good to go. I'm just showing you how to do this. So I set up a little partition right there and that's the one I want to uh, install it on. So it's Mac OS Extended Journal. So go ahead and erase. That's, this is what we want, Mac OS Extended Journal. So I'm going to hit Erase and format it for Mac. And as you can see, it's done. Once it's done, you're going to X out of it. You're going to hit Install OS 10. You're going to hit Continue. And I want to install it on my test disk. So I'm going to hit Continue. Agree. Agree. And then I'm going to go to my test. There it is. Let's install. Continue. And let it do its thing. Now you're going to see that it's going to get to like an end point and it's going to have, say, like minutes remaining. Um, and then it, you're going to think it's stuck. Just walk away, go have fun somewhere. It will finish. I promise it will finish but you're gonna think it's stuck. It's not stuck, it'll finish. Um, I have a USB 3.0 thumb drive, so this is gonna be quite fast. If you don't have a USB 3.0 thumb drive, it's gonna be a little slow, like 45 minutes. So just stand by and we'll see what we get. 
All right, so after it is done installing, you should see this, and then you just go through the wizard prompts, just like a brand new computer. So that is a clean install with Mac OS X Yosemite. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, thanks.